you've gone up against a lot of great quarterbacks over your career. What what does Will Howard bring to the table? What do you like about Will? Well, I tell you what. I mean, the thing. I mean, you know, we're just uh, working, and then uh, the other day, matter of fact, I pointed this out. You know, D tackle meeting room. You know, we're down in the red zone, and he made a out throw from the opposite hash. And I stopped the video, and I told our guys, I says, "Man, this this right here is what." NFL people look at, you know, on a line, throwing an out route into the uh, opposite uh, corner of the end. I mean, near the goal line there. I thought that was impressive. Those are things that stand out. I'm no quarterback coach, but it seems to me like he's uh, does a really good job of handling and managing the offense. Uh, tell me a little bit about Robert Hintz. Hadn't heard much about him from you. Yeah, well, you know, Robert is, uh, you know, when we right before the shutdown, you know, uh, he was really making some good progress in terms of his conditioning, of uh, getting in shape, and et cetera. We were all looking forward to spring ball, which is something I feel like Robert really needed uh, as a transfer. That would have been a real, real plus. So, you know, we've kind of treated this first part of camp as kind of a spring ball in many ways. Uh, and then he, you know, the shutdown, everybody came back, and then uh, he happened to be one of the positives. And then so he had to, you know, bottom line is he needed to get himself. He, right now is a time that, you know, you know, the summer workout program would have probably gotten him in a lot better shape. So on top of learning uh, our scheme and our ways, he's having to get, use this time to get in shape. You know, it's uh, – and he's not playing as fast as I would like to see, and I think he will tell you the same, partly because there's a learning curve, and he's learning uh, as we go. But uh, he is improving. Uh, there's some uh, fundamental things he needs to get corrected, but uh, uh, we're certainly counting on him to be a part of the rotation. You mentioned positive. What was the effect on his uh, well-being when he tested positive? Beg your pardon? You said he tested positive. Yeah, I don't mean I don't know if I'm even supposed to say that because it's his business, and I don't. But he was, you know, he was uh, when he came back. You know, he was, you know, we had to pause him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, which further slowed down his physical conditioning. Mm -hmm. Kels. Hey, Coach Tui, can you see the uh, depth chart kind of shaking itself out already there, defensive tackle? Uh, you know, I, I think most days, and then there's some days you, you scratch your head a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously, Drew Whitey played a lot of football for us last year. And uh, because of his experience and because of what he brings to the table, he's uh, very reliable, very dependable right now. We're counting on really, really uh, big things from uh, Drew. Uh, I would say right now, uh, uh, Eli Huggins it will probably be the next guy in terms of dependability, in terms of uh, playing good ball from a fundamental standpoint, uh, from a knowledge standpoint. And then I would probably throw Jalen Pickle in that mix. You know, he's a little bit slow at the beginning uh, but, uh, of, of, uh, of camp here, but he's really, really coming on his own. And then, you know... Uh, but no, yeah, those guys, that those three guys, and then we just uh, are a work in progress to try to get more consistency from the other guys in terms of understanding our scheme, in terms of playing the right way. And if you don't mind, can I ask who's impressed you on the offensive line going up against them? Okay, okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. I think Noah is a really, really good player. Uh, just from a defense standpoint, he's he does a great job again positioning on the ball. Obviously, uh, our left side, the right side from our view, the, the, that's a a pretty hefty group over there with Rivas and uh, and KT. And then uh, you know the <clears throat> the other guys over there. You know, I think 
you know, I've been very impressed with Dawson's uh, athletic ability, uh, his toughness, you know, et cetera. Uh, Del Forge, I'm talking about. And then Duffy, you know, he's he brings a lot of experience to the table, you know. And uh, so I, you know, I, I'm, those are the guys that maybe stand out right now. I'm sure there are some young guys. Obviously, Cooper Beebe's not in there. Uh, Adler, those are all guys that that, that that look to me like they're doing a great job. They're strong. I mean, I know, I know they're a very, very strong group. You know, and we really have to play uh, play uh, at our best to to uh, play well against them. Ryan Black. Hey, Coach Tui. You know, we've heard from multiple different people uh, since camp started that that Drew Wiley has been really good and really consistent. You know, with you being his position coach. What is it that, that you've been most impressed about him since you guys started camp? Well, you know, we went into camp, uh, and the challenge for Drew was, you know, he and I spent a lot of time on just he and I watching tape together and little things from a year ago that he could simply correct. And what I appreciate is that going into camp, those things are getting corrected. Uh, but the, the leadership in itself, just the leadership part alone uh, with Drew in our room is, is a major, major thing. Uh, uh, not only is he leading by example, really doing a great job of uh, mentoring our guys uh, in terms of how to do things, what to do, when to do them, uh, you know, how to work, and you know, really trying to be positive and motivating our guys. But just also, just also from his play, you know, because it's all tape. Our guys see it. And, and uh, you know, he puts together great examples of good play day in and day out uh, on film that you can use as teaching moments for our guys. So from that standpoint, he's been unbelievable. Drew Wiley is uh, – I'm really, really looking forward to him doing some great things this year. And then Coach Kleiman also mentioned that he was uh, very – he's been very impressed with Eli Huggins. What are your expectations for Eli this fall? You know, truthfully, you know, losing those three seniors from a year ago, I really, really am kind of – I really wish I had played uh, Eli more. But, man, I tell you what, uh, the guy just pays attention. He watches and pays attention. So when you throw him in the fire, he knows exactly what to do. And, uh, and, 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 and I feel very confident with those two guys in the game at the same time. You know, uh, but Eli Huggins is having a great camp, and he's going to he's gonna help us a lot this year. Last one right here, D. Scott. You're muted. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm unmuted. All right. There we go. Uh, Robert Hintz, what kind of potential does he have? We've seen him on tape. What what does he bring to the table? He's got a lot of potential. You know, he's very athletic. He's explosive. Uh, I, I think part of his learning curve uh, is the transition from junior college football to major college football, which uh, he really needs to uh, hunker down on and learn how to play if there was something that I could point out that he needs to get better and it's not something I haven't shared with him, it's just like, for instance, his pad level. He just needs to play with better pad level. Uh, but there's no question the, the tools that you need for the trade are all there. And uh, uh, really, really looking forward to Robert refining those tools and uh, – and, and bring, you know, great energy to, to the group and, and to our defense.